as a model and an actress who can be seen on the cover, uh, also the inside of July's Playboy magazine. She'll be appearing in the movie Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, which opens next month. Please welcome Sandra Taylor. <laughs> Say it right. Is it Sandra or Sandra? Well, whichever. I like Sandra. Oh, but which is it? Is Pro it? Probably Sandra. <laughs> I don't oh, know. probably. Probably. On your birth certificate, there should be something pretty. Right. It, it says Sandra. Or Sandra. Sandra. <laughs> so it's S A N. So it's Sandra. But you like Sandra. Sandra. Okay. okay. All right. Are you, are you a basketball fan as well? A huge basketball fan. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Congratulations. You oh, did very well you. this year. Thank you very much. I'm sorry that we kind of took your Knicks out, but... I know. Well, actually, the Knicks aren't my favorite team. Who's oh. your favorite team? Um, Orlando. Oh. I know. I know him. Is it true? Well, oh, you know him? Yeah, I know him. Really? Yeah. Oh. These are, so the, these are his shoes. I see. I know. <laughs> Oh, is it true? I don't know. <laughs> we are friends. Oh, you're your friend. Well, that's, that's fine. That's fine. But you, you play sports, too, don't you? Then every, yeah. On time, what, are you on a softball team or something? The, uh... Yeah, I play on a co-ed softball league in all my spare time. Right. But mm -hmm. it's the, what's the name of your team? It's the Trashy Lingerie yeah, Softball Yeah, I play for team? Trashy Lingerie. So it's... that's a star here. Uh... <laughs> it's a wonderful store, but they have, you know... Trashy Lingerie. Well, I'm their best shopper, so they have me on the team. Now, what sort of uniforms does the Trashy Lingerie... I mean, I mean, I'm glad <laughs> when you play against, like, the AT&T team, there's a slight advantage. Well, you know, actually, the uniforms are... They just give you a T-shirt, and it says Trashy Lingerie with your number, and sweatpants. I mean, it's a Oh, it's not, not a no. trashy... Oh, uh... how would we run like that? I, I, I'm <laughs> trying to imagine that myself. Actually. No. <laughs> <laughs> Silly. But, but you're a car fan, too, you told me? Is that your... Yeah, Is that, is that what it is? That, that, that was you brought for me from Calendar or something? Yeah, you know what? They said that this was your car, I thought. It's not your car? The no, 57? No, that's not mine, actually. No, that's oh. not my car. I, I would like to have my... It was my car. You can bet these girls wouldn't be sitting all over it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that's me! I know that. Oh, I know oh. that that's you. Yeah, that's... I was, and you're the snap-on uh, person? Well, that was like in 1991 or something. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ten years ago. Way long ago. So how do you get it? Is that a whole separate area, being a, a, uh, a calendar? Well, it was a phase in my life. I yeah. did posters and calendars, and yeah. actually my poster was number one in the country for oh, three right? years. Yeah. So how do you get to be... I mean, is there an, I mean, how do you Well, get I made the transition. I was living in Manhattan. I yeah. was modeling, and I moved out to L.A. And, um, you know, it just happened by, almost by accident. It wasn't anything that I really ever aspired. I was on Santa Barbara for a tiny bit. Oh, okay. I did some TV shows, and uh, Gary Marshall um, casted me for Exit to Eden. Oh, that's, a, yeah, in, the movie with uh, Rosie O'Donnell. Rosie and, O'Donnell, yeah, yeah. Dan Aykroyd, oh, okay. Iman. It was really a great experience. And um, then Under Siege came along. I got a great agent and sends me up for great feature films. Hmm. Now, you die in this one, right? No, no. I actually don't know. We filmed it two ways. We filmed it where I get shot. Well, I shouldn't tell, should no, I? What do you tell? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I get shot. It's very late at night. Okay. <laughs> How late? <laughs> you get shot? I get shot, but we filmed it both ways. Once I get shot here, and once I get shot where? Kill, in the knee. Oh, you get shot in the knee. Yeah, and then I get shot in the heart, so I don't know whether or not I die. Oh, I see. It's my surprise as well. I would sure think is. you'd die more from the shot in the heart. You no, know, I know. <laughs> I know. Again, not, not being a doctor, right. well, I you, would guess. You are as smart as you look. You might have a little limp from the knee. <laughs> so did you have to audition dying? Is this a, a, a... No, no, but while I was filming it, you know, the first take we did, you know, Steven Seagal came over to me, and he was like, you know, you're dying cutesy. And there's nothing cutesy about dying. So, oh. I mean, he really, like, Well, how do you scared... die cutesy? I, mean... I don't know. He said I was, like, going, you know, I don't know. You're going to die. Ah, die. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> so then he taught you to... He taught you to die more realistically? Yeah. He, well, he said, you know, getting shot in the knee, you kind of, like, jerk. And then when you get shot in the heart, you kind of sway. Okay. So, and not to anticipate, because, like... When the guy turned around, not Eric Bogosian, but another one of the bad okay. mercenaries, he turned around to shoot me, and I was like, like, waiting for it. Like, I knew it was oh, going to happen. And so could you, could you die on command? Have you still, you've learned how to die? Oh, I'll tell you, when they did the next take, I screamed bloody murder. Well, did you try? You want to try I it now? I will shoot you. I almost it. No. Well, let's try. I'm let's really see. Let's see.
Reggie, you'll help. You'll yeah, catch her if she falls. Really? <laughs> right, here it is. Um, okay. Well, All right, lady, I was I... going to protect the girl, and I was like, no, don't take her. I wasn't going to shoot take... you in the knee, but uh -oh. I'll shoot you in the heart. Bang! <laughs> 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 Very, very convincing. Did you me. believe it? Very, very convincing. <laughs> now, Howard, now, yeah, I've heard you on the radio. Now, Howard Stern kind of picks on you a little bit there. Well, you know, he used to. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't pick on you anymore? He's been so much nicer lately. Really? Mm-hmm. Really? Well, I've heard you on the show. You kind of... Well, what, well was, what was the story the day I was listening, actually? He was giving you a quiz, and it... Oh, well, I assume you know, maybe you got up very early or something, and... I had, no, there was, was the time I was modeling and I was over in Hong Kong yeah. and I flew home. I didn't even have a TV around that time. I didn't know we had this war going on. And uh, he asked me who we were at war with and I said, well, I thought we bombed Jerusalem and I can't no. tell you. People called my machine, they were like, Sandy, my God. And, and, yeah, and at that time, you know, I really was naive. I didn't keep up current events, although that's quite an event. But um, <laughs> now I do. And I even thanked Howard the other day. I said, I want to thank you so much because of you. And he used to tease me because I was kind of chubby. And you were chubby? I was chubby. Wow. I was about 15 pounds heavier than I am oh. now. And um, Well, you look great. Thank you. Oh, we got to go. But anyway, thank you. And good luck thank with the movie. You. Okay. And we'll see you again. Okay. Sandra Taylor right there.